Hello everyone, welcome to another Robot Wars themed video. Um, I've been building again, I've been customising again, so let's get into the robots that I've been making, robots I've been troubleshooting, and an upcoming build, plus something a little extra at the end. So, first of all, building. Um, I'll go in the order that I built them. So, myself and um, uh, a pupil in Year 7 uh, were having a chat about Ironside 3 and how come we've never seen Ironsides 1 or 2. So, um, we decided we, we would build one each. He would build Ironside 1, I would build Ironside 2. So, here is Ironside 2 just for you to see. It is a big old bar spinner. It is a fidget spinner that I bought online and I must admit I wasn't expecting it to be this big but I'm glad it is because it's the right size. It spins right the way round the entire robot so every side is I mean defended, attacked um, yeah very very cool this thing at the back that was starting to lift there is the self-writing mechanism. Ooh. Ooh. Um, and on the underside... Actually, one of these has come off. That's a shame, I'll have to do a new one of them. Uh, but on the other side you can see two wheels, one and two. And then some padding as well, um, because the hot glue was affecting the drive. So. Um, I'd say the problem with this is because it's, it's difficult to make a robot that's got problems with it. You have to build it with problems with it. it high ground clearance, I've decided, was a problem with Ironside 2 and uh, the self-writing mechanism not working if the bar was in the wrong place. So that's Ironside 2. Very happy with how that's come out, but need to just fix that pad. Secondly, Extremis. Let me show you Extremis. Now, Extremis had a slight problem with it, in that I may have fought it, and it may have come apart after I pulled it a bit. The whole, the whole section that was holding together the bar itself fell apart, um, and or not the bar, the disc. And I mean, it's a flimsy build as it is. Look at it; it's it moves too much. Um, so, Extremis is dead. Long live Extremis 2, which is slightly different, but not too much. As you can see, it is a much smaller um, spinning weapon. Ouch. Which spins like so. Uh, it's got four wheels underneath now. Count them, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's got the skull motif still on the top. I've gone blue this time because of the fidget spinner colour, and it does still do the whole, you throw it, it doesn't flip over. Although, it does sometimes, if you really force it. Um, but yeah, I, I'm very happy with how this is looking. The actual spinner itself had grip bits on top and bottom, which is easier to work with when you're gluing, so... Um, they're literally just glued on and that's how this was made. It's a lot more structurally sound this time. It's actually got work all the way around it. Do, 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 up until there, whereupon the spinner needs to be fitted. Um, it was good fun to make. Enjoyable is how I would say that. Next is actually up there as well. I should have got that when I got Extremis. Um, so I missed building Lego robots, so I built a Lego robot. It's a two-wheel drive pusher, and it is called Pinky and the Brain. Um, it is one of those jokey robots, possibly made by um, Team Glitterbomb, although they seem to make decent double-axe attacking robots that I would love to see in Robot Wars. Um, so maybe not. So Pinky and the Brain has this front end that is... A wedge um, 
It's quite tall wedge though, because of the Lego it's built of, and it has a little brain in the back of it, as you can see in the jar. It's got eyes, because all jokey robots have eyes. Um, just look at nuts and, and jellyfish, although nuts is becoming more competitive. Um, so yeah, it's got sort of back spike ramming capabilities, big wheels, big wheels. Um, yeah, I was asked, what would I do with pink bricks? This is what I would do with pink bricks. I, I have fulfilled the brief. There. Um, lastly, of the new builds, I'm so pleased with this one. It is Storm 2. I love Storm 2. Um, it's an awesome robot. It's not quite done yet. I've ordered some parts off of Pick a Brick. So um, I'm replacing these four red bits with two red bits. Um, and the underside needs finishing. Uh, needs a 201 there, 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 and there, and it needs a 2x2 there. As you can see, four-wheel drive, um, but it's not because it's Storm 2. It's meant to have wheels on top. There's no way I could have made that work. It's also meant to have six wheels all the way along. There was no way I was going to make that work and the weapon work because it does have a functioning weapon, as you can sort of see I'm not wearing the best colours for this today but yes it's got the cool front end lifting mechanism which is activated by you can see the hole there you just press in there and the weapon comes up and you put it down like so so pretty happy with it um, as I said just needs finishing off really it was a complete faff to make the build process was not enjoyable at all yet the overall is très bien, as they say in France. Um, troubleshooting. Only two to troubleshoot um, this time. First of all, poor Shadow Cat. I this is how extremist the first one broke. It was having a fight with Shadow Cat, and the front end of Shadow Cat survived, but the bit that holds it on, the two bar thingies that lift up, were getting horribly bent. And then this broke, showing that Shadow Cat is superior. Um, so yeah, I've completely reworked the top of Shadow Cat. As you can see, it's no longer two bar, but it is one piece. It's held on with these two sections at the back that has a... Uh, I don't know if you can just see in there, it has one of these Technic bars in Lego Technic bars. And it's also being held on with this piece here, um, which is just helping it stick on and it's also helping me by having this little dot on top that I can activate the weapon with um, playability features rule I've also had to put some tape on this top bit here because it had an axe attack to it uh, when I was testing out Mickey Mouse operations axe and um, this, it really has you can see by the front end it's all scratched it really has been through the wars uh, no pun intended, or was it? Um, so, yeah, that's that one. Last troubleshoot then is um, Valhalla 2, which used to be Furious George, which is now called Wham, um, because I have replaced the weapon with a massive hammer. The Sir Killalot hammer from the Sir Killalot thing. It, it's a lot more battle bots. I was aiming for battle bots with this one. Um, this one's not quite done yet. You can still see Valhalla 2 written on this front piece. So, again, Pick a Brick has saved me and I have ordered a piece to replace that. Um, so, that's on its way. And that is that. Now, I'm just going to show you a few parts that have arrived in the post this week that um, are going towards another robot reason that um, Valhalla 2 slash Wham now has had a weapon change is because I needed this bit um, because it's vital to a robot that has huge wheels right and this section in the middle and it all sorts of goes together like this with this sort of up here it is Gabriel um, I'm building Gabriel it's not quite done yet but I think I'll do a robot spotlight on it when I've got it done and complete and ready to show off. So that last thing I was showing you, or going to show you, 
is my arena. People have wanted an arena update, and those who follow me on Facebook or um, I'll, I'll be putting pictures up on the Jevwood Studios Facebook page. Please do go and like that. Um, I have been carrying on with my arena. It's got side walls. Uh, it's got um, what do you call it? The the, the plexiglass um, walls as well, which have been made out of some gazebo ceiling material and um, it's almost fully painted it's almost done there's literally just the lower side walls that are slightly angled to do uh, I've just got to paint them and then the bits in between them that are flat and need painting up as well um, and, it's, and then it's done it's, it's ready for combat um, but I can't get out there to do anything because it's absolutely tipping it down um, and has been for the last couple of days. So here's a picture of that now. <laughs> That's a lot. See you next time for possibly my episode 4 review of series 9. Either that or I'll just not. Um, and that's that. Bye-zy-bye. Take it away. Wham.